Hello, I'm Dr. Ryan Jaggers, and I'm going to introduce you to an article I wrote with Dr. David Porter. Our article is titled, Optimal Management of Ankle Syndesmosis Injuries, and it appears in the Open Access Journal of Sports Medicine. In this paper, we begin with describing the epidemiology of this injury and then review the anatomy and biomechanics of the syndesmosis. We describe the typical patient history and mechanism of injury that led to their ailment. We will describe the physical examination findings, including specific tests such as the external rotation stress test and the squeeze test. We will then go through the proper imaging workup of these injuries, emphasizing the importance of weight-bearing radiographs. We also will discuss advanced imaging options, such as cross-sectional imaging with MRI or CT, or dynamic imaging with fluoroscopy. The main focus of our paper will be on the classification of these injuries and how that guides treatment algorithms into either surgical or non-surgical treatment. If an injury is unstable, it must be surgically stabilized. During this process, the syndesmosis must be anatomically reduced and then confirmed with imaging. Afterwards, it must be securely fixed using either screw fixation or suture button fixation. Each of these has potential advantages and disadvantages, which we will explore in our article. We will then visit the debate of whether or not the deltoid ligament should be repaired and explain why we feel this does have potential advantages. Finally, we will conclude with explaining our rehabilitation protocol and its main principles of restoring range of motion, early protected weight bearing, restoration of strength, and a functional progression back to desired activities. We thank you for your interest in our article, and we hope you will find it useful in better understanding syndesmosis injuries.